Hi viewers, you are watching DS Lifestyle and in this video we will be talking about channa or the snakehead fish. Origin of channa fish is from Asia. Some of the channa fish are also found in some parts of Africa, but the most beautiful ones are found in Asia. There are more than 34 types of snakehead fish, but they can be broadly classified into large and dwarf channa fish or snakehead fish. First we will discuss about dwarf channa fish, which is comparatively easier to keep in your tank. A beginner can also keep dwarf channa fish. These fishes do not require a very large tank. You can easily keep them in a 20 gallon tank or even in a 15 gallon tank. Diet of channa fish broadly consists of meaty foods such as prawns, earthworm, and some carnivorous pellets. You can also feed hikari carnivorous sinking pellets to these fishes. So here are some common varieties of dwarf channa fish or dwarf snakehead fish. First one is rainbow snakehead. This fish grows up to 13 to 15 centimeter. Carrying this fish is really easy. But please note they are a very good jumper. So please keep a lid on your tank. Second is Channa Swarty. I don't know the pronunciation of this fish. But the main point of this fish is that it is having a very beautiful blue coloration. This fish is majorly found in India. Then we have Channa Orna. It is also found in India and in some part of Southeast Asia. This fish also resembles the Channa Swarty but it is having a deeper coloration and the most common dwarf channa fish is channa gachua it is found in most of the southeast asia they are very hardy fishes the temperature for this fish can vary from 20 degrees celsius to 26 degrees celsius and the ph can range between 6 to 8 these fishes can also breathe through their skin and they also gasp air from the surface of water. So please do not fill your tank till the top. Leave 1 to 2 inches of space from the top so that your fish can grasp some air from the top. Otherwise, these fishes are also known for drowning in the water without air. These fishes are known to be super aggressive. So it is better to keep them in a single a separate tank not in a community tank some breeding pair of snakehead fish do prefer to stay in a single tank but if the pair doesn't like each other then they can fight until death so it is preferable to keep these fishes in a single tank in a separate tank breeding these fishes is not so easy and these fishes are known to be excellent parents for their fries. They are known to keep their babies in their mouth. So they are also known as mouth brooders. Now I am going to show you some of the large species of channa. This is channa barka. One of the most beautiful species of channa. This is also the most expensive species of channa. It is found in northeast india this fish is also among the top most expensive fishes in this world if you are planning to get these fishes you must also know that they these fishes grow too big so you must have a decent tank for them the minimum uh, volume of water for these fishes is like 60 to 100 gallons in that you can keep these fishes for their whole whole life happily channa barka is a very aggressive species of channa and it is having a lot of personality in it you can interact with them a lot these fishes are like dog packed inside glass and they are top level carnivores try to give them meaty diet a diet which is rich in protein you can also give then a pellet diet which is rich in protein such as hikari carnivore sticks that's the best diet best staple diet for large monster fishes 
Caring these fishes is very easy. They can tolerate a large range of water temperature as well as a large range of pH as they are very sturdy fishes. This species of chana is also known as to be a very good jumper. So please keep a lid on top of your tank and also do not fill your tank till the top. Leave 2 to 3 inches of space uh, between the top of tank and the water level of your tank because these fish gap, gasp water from the top of tank and if you will fill the tank till top then there are chances that your fish will drown and it will die. So these were the most important points which you needed to know about chana fish and if you want a detailed video on some specific species of chana then please comment in the comment section below. Now let's come to the part which you were waiting for, the prices for these fishes. The price for these fishes vary with species, majorly the uh, prices for the smaller species of chana is relatively lower than the larger species and the prices vary between 100 to 2000 dollars. The most expensive species of chana is this, the chana barka, this can easily cost you around 2k dollar 2000 dollars and if you are in india and if you want to know the prices of india then the price of india is relatively lower than the international prices the price varies between 800 rupees to 45000 rupees 45000 or 50000 for this chana barka and it is also quite rare to uh, get in india so now as we have discussed all the major points of chana so let's end the video and i hope you all enjoyed the video i hope you all enjoyed the visuals of chana fish the beauty of chana fish thanks for watching stay tuned with my channel